Hey everyone! So today I'm going to do an updated version of my makeup collection and storage organization. Um, I did one of these last July, but I understand that a lot can change between now and then because, you know, I'm constantly buying new things and reorganizing. So you guys have been after me for a while to do an updated version of that, so that's what I'm going to do today. And um, before we get started with that, though, I do want to go over the makeup I'm wearing today because I switched up the way I do certain things and I liked the outcome so I wanted to mention it specifically plus I tried some new things today and I'm very pleasantly surprised with those things as well so if you don't want to see this part you can always just skip ahead so today for products I'm wearing Guerlain Meteorites Light Diffusing Foundation Primer Maybelline Fit Foundation Maybelline Fit Me Concealer then what I did with my blush was I used Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Pink Frosting. Then I put um, Cody Airspun Translucent um, Loose Powder all over. Then I took MAC Pink Swoon Blush and put that on top of that. So I actually have like a double layer of blush. but. I kind of like these two things together. Um, one just enhances the other one just ever so slightly. So that was different. I had never tried doing that before. Um, then I used Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then as a base for my eyeshadow, I used um, MAC Delft Paint Pot. And the reason why I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the MAC Delph Paint Pot is because I noticed that some of the MAC Paint Pots are um, more emollient than others. The Paintily Paint Pot, you can just put that down straight with nothing underneath it and your eyeshadows will be fine. But on, you can almost tell by looking at the different paint pots which one you're going to need another base with. But I wore this one day and it did crease a little bit. So now if I use any of these frosty type ones, I always put Urban Decay Primer Potion underneath it. So, um, <laughs> oops. So the Delft Paint Pot um, is a base. And then on my lids, I've got MAC Birds and Berries. My highlight is White Frost. And my crease color is Silver Ring. And Silver Ring was one of the very first eyeshadows I ever bought from MAC. I, my, I'll never forget that first day at the MAC counter I bought Floof, Aquadisiac, and Silver Ring. I'll always remember those as my first three eyeshadows. Uh, then I put Black Track Fluid Line, MAC Black, Black Track Fluid Line on my waterline. And I tried something on my tight line today that I had never used before. I used Revlon Color Stay in black. I find it a little easier to do the tight line with a pencil rather than um, a brush and gel liner. And I have had this for, oh, I don't know, probably like six months or something. I had originally bought it just to use for a regular lower lash eyeliner. And as it turns out, this is a really great one to do the tight line. It just went on so easily and I have a feeling that will probably stay all day and not move around because it is called Color Stay. <laughs> Um, and then I've got L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion Mascara. This is the one that has like the little barbell on it in black. And then I tried out my new NYX Lip Pencil in Fuchsia. And um, this was exactly the shade that I needed. So perfect match for that because I wanted to try out the um, new Maybelline Color Sensational Fuchsia Fever Lipstick. That's what I'm wearing. And... Um, I think I might have used this one other day, but I don't think I filmed that day. So this is, I think, the first time you guys will have seen this on me. And, um, I know it's not spring and summer yet, but I just couldn't wait any longer to, uh, play with this. And then I used my new NYX, um, lip gloss in Dolly Pink. Now, why they call this one Dolly Pink, I don't know, because it is definitely more like fuchsia. 
Um, I have the MAC Lip Liner in Dolly Pink, but it's too light for this lip gloss, so I don't know, something, I think that this may have been a mistake. I think they were supposed to call this Fuchsia. Okay, so that's what I'm wearing for products, and I have on OPI Ski Teal We Drop, and this was from the OPI Swiss Collection. My key necklace is from Target. My shirt is Faded Glory from Walmart. All these bangles are from Walmart. My watch is Style & Company from Macy's. This bracelet is wicked old, so who knows where that comes from. And I think that's it. So let's get right into the collection, the way I organize it and store it. Now you're going to see a bunch of stuff on the table in front of me. Those are just all the products that I just went over with you that I'm wearing. So I'm going to move the camera. Okay, so let's, um, let's start on this side then. These um, little plastic drawer things don't have any actual makeup in them. They have like um, makeup sponges, uh, tweezers, a small pair of scissors, my back to Mac stuff. So it's just, it's like random stuff. There's really nothing interesting in those drawers. And then these are three empty Mac palettes. And the reason why those are there is because they end up being um, the perfect height to place my camera on when I film. I do have a tripod, but the tripod is actually too tall to put on top of these drawers, so these end up being just the right height. And that's my makeup mirror. I got it at um, Target. It's it's nothing special. As a matter of fact, I would not repurchase because it's one of those ones that when you touch it, it lights up. And you find that you accidentally bump into it a lot of times and it goes on and you don't want it to go on. And I, I don't like it. I wish I had bought one that just has like an on and off switch. It does have the regular mirror on one side and then the magnifier on the other. It's okay, but I wouldn't recommend it. And then back here I just keep a box of baby wipes. Those two containers um, have personal stuff in them. There's no makeup stuff in there, so I'm not going to show you that. These perfume bottles I normally keep up here. When I'm not filming, I display them like in a pattern on top of this. Um, and those are just... Um, um, Beyonce Heat and, um, a couple of the little bottles of uh, Harajuku Love is G. I have all the rest of my perfumes in another room. And then back here I have, um, these are like office files from Staples to, uh, to put files, but I use them to put palettes. This is the ELF 100 Shadow Palette. This is where those ones, these here, that's where those go. When I'm not filming. And then, let's see. You know what? I'm going to put on another light so you guys can see better. Here we go. Back here is the Urban Decay Naked palette. And then these right here are all my MAC eyeshadow palettes that I do have eyeshadows in. And then, if you go to the... Oh, by the way, this is just one of those metal folding chairs for like five bucks that you can buy at any store. And this is just a um, card table that you can get for like, I don't know, $20. Just a, a metal card table. And then, my mom had gotten this um, lace material from a fabric store, and she cut it to fit the table for me because she thought it was pretty and I like it um, but it's plastic so if you spill makeup on it or something you can just take any household cleaner and paper towels and just wipe it right up that way I don't have to worry about messing up like a real tablecloth um, so this is just a, a cheap inexpensive setup someday I'd like to get like a nice vanity table or something but it's it's fine for now it serves its purpose and then um so just ignore all this. <laughs> this is the stuff I just showed you. All right, let's come down here. Maybe you can see better. All right, this is just a coffee cup. And I find these are kind of like cute for organizing things sometimes. But these are, these are my pencil eyeliners. And there's all different brands on there, so obviously I can't go through and show, show you all of them. And then back here are my pencil eyeliners um, that are more like department store kind, like mostly MAC. 
And then this is just my Maybelline Define a Bra, which I forgot to put on today. <laughs> um, and then over here are, this is just like a little glass jar that had fruit in it originally. And I, you know, these make pretty good organizers too. These are all my small makeup brushes, like, um, you know, just tiny ones like a lip brush and an angled eye brush and, um, you know, kabuki type brushes that have a slightly longer handle on them. And then a bottle of MAC Fix Plus and a bottle of MAC Brush Cleaner. And then going back towards the front again, these are, um, these are containers from the dollar store. And uh, they make good organizers too. So these are just all my lip pencils in there. And then this one behind it is like those random MAC eyeshadows that they keep coming out with now that are the large size that don't fit in palettes or anything. And I've also got um, Stila Kitten in here with it. And then this is just um, a Hello Kitty palette from the Hello Kitty collection by MAC. And then this next bucket is some um, gel eyeliners and liquid eyeliners in here. And then this glass container here is all my larger, medium to large size makeup brushes in here. It's mostly MAC, um, Sonia Kashuk, and Essence of Beauty from CVS. That's basically what's in there. And then over here is, um, this is like a, a wooden TV tray from Target. Um, it's, it's a, just, you know, a nice wood tray. And on top of it, I have all these, um, organizers from the container store. Um, lipstick organizers and so forth. So, let me zoom back a little bit. Okay, so this one here is all MAC lipsticks. And so isn't this one. And then this next one here is more MAC lipsticks in the front here. In the back are Lime Crime lipsticks, which um, you can only get at Space NK in the United States. And there aren't that many Space NK stores, so I had to have it shipped to me. Um, I did a video on those if you're interested. You can just Google Mrs. The Doll Lime Crime and you'll find it. And then these are like lip balms in between right here. And then I have just a few high-end lipsticks back here. I've got a Estee Lauder, a YSL, uh, Bare Essentials, and Clinique. And then those are also um, lip balms right there. This is a L'Oreal Jelly Hip Balm. Um, MAC Hello Kitty Tinted Lip Conditioner. This is um, Rosebud Strawberry Lip Balm. I think I got that at Urban Outfitters a while ago. These are just some of those EOS lip balms. And then over here, these are all MAC lip glosses. And then this one back here, these are more MAC lip glosses here. And then a couple more lip balms that wouldn't fit over there. And then um, the new NARS Turkish Delight lip gloss. This one is Bare Essentials. And this one is Fusion. And then back here, um, are mascaras. I just decided to use a lipstick organizer for the mascara. Some of these I'm probably going to have to throw out. I really need to go through every single one and figure out which ones have dried out or are too old. But um, I would say three quarters of them are probably good. But I, I really need to go through those one by one. And then right here, this is, let me back up so you can see it better. This is the Alex unit from Ikea. Um, you buy it at Ikea, you put it together yourself, and um, it's very, very heavy. So unless you have someone very strong to carry the box in the house for you, it's like 80 pounds. And then of course once you put the lipstick, uh, lipstick, yeah right, it, once you put your makeup in it, now it's going to be really heavy. So it's like anchored to the wall. They have like a support strap thing that you attach to the back of it. So let's go through this. In the top drawer are all my um, concealers, foundation primers, and I think that's about it. Yeah, concealers and foundation primers and any kind of uh, corrector type thing like this. 
In the second drawer are all my foundations, every brand you can imagine. Uh, I can't possibly go through it, the video would be too long. In the next drawer down is um, powders and bronzers, um, you know, all different brands. In the next drawer are blushes. Uh, there's a lot of MAC in there and kind of a wide variety of things, I guess. There's NARS and Benefit and uh, Physician's Formula and Revlon and all different things. And the next drawer, these are all um, eyeshadow bases of all different kinds. These small jars here are all MAC paint pots. And then in the back I have um, some L'Oreal paints. Those are discontinued. There's a NYX eyeshadow base, uh, Cliché Cosmetics, um, Bare Essentials, Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then these are like NYX Jumbo Pencils and all different, you know, stick type things that you could use for a shadow base. And then in the next drawer are eyeshadows. These are Wet n Wild and there's some other brands down below here. There's just too many to go through. These are Milani and Jordana. Back in the back is LA Colors and um, I think there might be some other stuff mixed in there with there too. So basically these are all like drugstore things in here. Um, these are all Revlon eyeshadows. These are Essence and Elf and L'Oreal. Back here is Maybelline and CoverGirl. So it's all drugstore stuff. Then in this drawer here I have in this basket are the Maybelline lipsticks. This is um, a lipstick, pretty lipstick holder that I got that I used to keep in my purse and for whatever reason I took it out. This is a backup of MAC Viva Glam Cindy lipstick because um, you can't get this anymore. These are Revlon lip stip, lipsticks and lip glosses. And here's a backup of Maybelline um, the Falsies mascaras for when I throw the other one out because it's getting kind of dry. And these, this little basket here, these are all um, Bare Essentials, Bare Minerals, eyeshadows. And then in the bottom drawer, in the front here, these are all drugstore lipstick brands. Everything from Wet n Wild to L'Oreal to NYX to Rimmel, um, NYC, and um, there might be another brand too. Back here, these are all drugstore lip glosses, e.l.f., Essence, L'Oreal, um, CoverGirl, uh, Rimmel, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I have in that. And then over here is my nail polishes. I started off with this rack here and then you know, filled that up and had to buy this little bucket thing and then I started just lining them up on the back of the mirror there. But, um, yeah, those are all my nail polishes. I have an awful lot. And I got rid of a lot of them, too. I gave away a lot of my nail polishes. Um, so I don't even have all the ones that I had before. But, um, so that's my makeup collection organization video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.